Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to create slight transition in After Effects. And real quick guys, before we start, uh, if you see this right now, uh, that means that there is a 50% off sale on my site. So make sure you check that out because it's ending in three days. So if you're seeing this right now, make sure you check that out. And back to the video guys. So you have to have two clips uh, between you want to make a transition. Pick the first clip and then rotoscope it. When it's done freezing, go back to the composition and then play with the feather to smooth out those edges. And then uh, go to the FX panel and type in a uh, motion title and put this on the clip below the rotoscope layer. Uh, go to like the half of the clip, go to the position, keyframe it. And also uh, on the motion title, put the output width to uh, somewhere around 500 and then click mirror edges and then go to the last frame I put the position to left till we see the black bar right here okay that's that's cool and then put this keyframe to the end and then highlight those keyframes click F9 and we already have this but it doesn't look great so what we're gonna do Let's go to the graph editor, edit speed value, and then do the same graph as I will. So it's kind of like slow at the start and then we'll go faster at the end. Go back to the composition and uh, check the motion blur. Okay, we already have the slight transition, but we're gonna make it even smoother. So I uh, go to the next clip um, and then cut out uh, one frame of it and then stretch it up and then put this clip uh, above everything and go back like five frames right here and then stretch it, uh, right click, time and then freeze frame and double click it and rotoscope uh, our subject cut it like that then go up like this so we have this like half of the clip but the outline will be his finger so I will rotoscope that as well so we want to have something like this go back to composition play with the feather so we have nice edges and then uh, go to the position uh, If you don't already guys know click P on your keyboard to show the position Keyframe it and put this keyframe at the end of the clip and then uh, Put your clip to the right so we won't see it All right, and then highlight those keyframes F9 and put the motion blur So we have some right something like this I think I'll make that a little bit faster. It's already smooth, but um, I don't like that cut right here. So what I'm gonna do is add a shake for my preset pack. I'll link that guys for you as well. Let's try um, white shake, but we are going to be deleting the hue and saturation because it doesn't match the footage. And just like that so if you like the video uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel because more tutorials like that will be coming soon um, make sure to check my site because it's now all the products are minus 50% off and yeah hope you guys learned something today and I catch you guys in the next one